Hey guys, Jesse Helmendaler with Treble Wellness Solutions. And today we're gonna to go over the overhead squat. So the overhead squat builds upon all the same mechanics that we used in the air squat, the back squat, the front squat. Only difference is now we're gonna put a load overhead. So Andrew, if you wouldn't mind stepping up, Andrew's gonna show us what this looks like. Andrew's gonna start with the barbell on his back. He's gonna snatch grip, push press it to get it up overhead. And really some of the same mechanics from the ground up are all the same. So even weight distribution across his entire foot. Hips are back, knees are out. Once he gets his barbell up overhead, he's really trying to drive that barbell up as high as he can. Some of the things that are going on, he's really working all the muscles in here. He's trying to keep a nice externally rotated uh, shoulder, even trying to get the elbows up as high as you can. Go ahead and do five overhead squats for me, please. Andrew, nice. And so we can see Andrew has thoracic spine limitations. Basically, we're looking at tightness all through his back because you know, he's, he's an American, he, he likes to sit down, things like that. So he's really tight through his back and it's a big limiter here on his overhead squat. Now, he does have enough mobility that we think it's a good idea to train this. What we probably won't do is push the loading here with the overhead squat. We'll probably keep him lighter because it is very therapeutic um, for the lats, for the thoracic spine, the shoulders, things like that. So the overhead squat, very challenging movement, very challenging on the midline. If you have any type of uh, motor control issues, uh, mobility issues, or lack of strength, um, the overhead squat will call it out. So there we go, overhead squat, great movement. Hopefully by now you've seen us progress from the box squat, the air squat, back squat, front squat, and now the ultimate squatting movement, the overhead squat.